Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week so far. Welcome to a Thursday stream. I haven't been able to get online, I don't think, since last Saturday. It's been a busy week. Dan Grice, good to see you. What's shaking? My name is Joel Duggan for folks just tuning in. And this is Satisfactory. We're on the very top floor of the Megatron Power Facility that we've been building for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, <laughs> which feels like forever. Uh, and I just need to double check some things while I'm up here. Hopefully I have the copper to do that. I do. That's good. That's good. I had a weird bug when I logged in. The game was blurry. I couldn't see anything. It was very strange. So that's all hooked up there. Are we hooked up in the middle? We are not. Okay. I think this is where we left off. Dan, resubbing 19 months in a row. Thanks so so much for the support, Dan. Appreciate the content. And I appreciate the support. Uh, we have the wrong color. Sorry, I kind of fumbled my words. Sort of fumbled my words. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dink. So even though this was already running full tilt, this should keep it going without any interruptions up here. Oh, this one's not hooked up. Glad I caught that. Good, good, good. We don't need these guys out here now. That's the wrong button, Joel. I've been playing a lot of the Cycle Frontier and my hotkeys are all cycle-brained. For those wondering, it's a first-person shooter. I don't normally play them. Uh, and I don't know if I'm going to play this one online. It's pretty competitive. It's a looter extract shooter. And... Yeah, it's, it's intense. <laughs> it's intense. And on this particular uh, game, we are, I think we're just going to chill out and finish the water facility today. Because we were working on these platforms a lot, and I felt like there was a lot of back and forth. So I think what we're going to do today is be heavily focused on... Um, Finishing up the water the way that we want it to, to be done. We should be good. Uh, no, it's not family friendly and there is a required audio component. Uh, you can use voice over IP in game to like check with other players as to whether they're friendly or not. They may or may not lie to you or they may or may not answer you at all. Uh, but I cannot control the, the vulgar <laughs> language that other players use. Um, and they're not aggressive about it. They're just people just swear because they're adults and they use adult language. So... Uh, unfortunately, yeah, it's not um, not the most family friendly, but that's fine. I can just remove the family friendly tag from the stream. It's not like it's the end of the world. Um, I might do. I need to get better at it before I feel comfortable streaming. I feel like people are going to have questions. 
Alright, so these are going to go right up against the edge, it looks like. So I was getting ready for all of this. And I think what I need to do is remove this kind of stuff. So I'll have to get rid of that and this. So this will interrupt our power production briefly while we while we remove this stuff. Oh, I'm gonna change the color too. Saves us from painting them later. I feel like that's too far. I don't know if I like seeing, I guess we could probably do a couple of tests, see if we like seeing the actual uh, indicator on the pipes, or if we prefer the non-indicator. Um, I mean, I've had some fun in the Frontiers game. I have also had some not so fun times. Uh, right now, I think there's a lot of camping going on in the game. And uh, that that's not a fun way to go. I've been following a couple streamers uh, and kind of learning from them and kind of seeing what's up. Oh, I did that wrong. Crap. That has to be four meters. And I have to change the color. So that goes through there, but I forgot to do this little zigzag here to get it into the center. Played on an open beta was fun with friends, but solo was not a fun experience. Uh, the Herbie, yes. And uh, now, and back when you played it, there would have been a real big problem with cheaters. Uh, that has since been nearly removed entirely. Uh, the people that have been playing for that, a very long time that I've been following say, yes, it used to be a big problem, but it is no longer a big a problem as it used to be.
So while this is tedious, it will get us the look that we want. Now we can hook things up. Um, one of the pieces of advice that I got for early runs in the cycle was um, to do pistol runs. So if you start to get your butt handed to you, you find that people are camping and like just really high-end players are like hanging out in the areas where the new players are doing quests and stuff um, then um, what you should do is is um, just take a pistol uh, and maybe a med or two like a med pack or two and just um, if you die whatever you've not lost very much so who cares um, whereas if you go in like prepared for everything, you're not going to stand a chance against the really high-end players because they're just going to they're you're going to be out geared, you're going to be out experienced. Like it's just it's all not great. And so I thought that was a, a good advice because you definitely you definitely don't feel as bad. You feel like you wasted some time, but you don't feel as bad when um, when you just take a pistol. Um, I I'm a sniper. When I play first person shooter, shooters, I want to I want to snipe. But that's everybody. That's everybody in that game because that seems to be what's the most viable the viable way to to do a lot of damage. It's that or shotguns. The thing that I don't like, and I was watching another streamer earlier today. Uh, her name's Scarlet. She's not family friendly just in terms of language, um, but she's very nice. It's just it's, she's not like vulgar or anything. She's just they swear because you know it's an intense game. <laughs> Um, and uh, they were talking about her and I think it's Frumpy was her mod they were talking about the time to die so if you get shot from behind by someone that you didn't see you're basically dead like you don't have a chance to really do anything and so that's not fun right you can't counter you can't come back from a close call like you just get pwned and it doesn't feel good as a game it might be realistic but it doesn't feel good so so that is the um the thing that i'm noticing the most oh i did that wrong i have to put these in first That's a weird way to put that. It's odd. That is messed up. Why is that not going in the right spot? That's what we want. 
Are we talking about the cycle? I'm actually downloading it right now. Uh, yes, Sonic, we are. I've got about eight or ten hours in. Uh, and, um, yeah, my advice would be to, I mean, definitely take the good gear when you've got the good gear if you need it to fight people. But if you're just going to be avoiding people and trying to get through the game, I would say just... Just, uh... Just go in with the basics, you know? So all we're doing is just making this adjustment so that this pipe uh, goes down the proper side and looks like it's on the center of this platform. That's all. Have you played games like The Cycle before, Sonic? Have you played like Escape from Tarkov or Apex Legends? I had not. All right, let's just take a look at this. Make sure that it's the right way. Everything looks painted. It didn't take too long. <laughs> Only seven more to go. Uh, Dovakin or Dovakin. Hello, welcome in. Tarasiris, what's up? I used to play Apex with my friends, but they got sick of it, so we stopped playing. I can see, I can see that. I I don't like life those games. Like I t I tend to enjoy them when I feel like. I want a first-person shooter experience, but not it's not always something that I want. I find specifically because I'm just not that good that I don't I don't want to spend the whole time like up against people that are just like so much better geared and just, you know, so much better all the time. It's not fun. Losing all the time is just not fun. And some of that is game balance and some of that is like I usually reach a point where in order to get better at, at a certain game or get to a higher level that's a competitive game, I have to just sink so much time in and I just don't have it. I'm not into the whole grinding thing. I do like looter shooters though, like I really enjoyed Borderlands 3. Even though I didn't finish it, the time that I spent with it I did really like. Uh, and so that's what kind of brought me into um, into uh, the Cycle Frontier. I mean, it's also free to play. I think it'd be more fun with friends, so if there's a number of people in the community that decide that they want to try it out, then I'd be down to play with a couple of people, because from what I've seen, you have much greater success in like a two-man team, because, or two-person team, because you don't, um, you don't get all the RNG issues that you do, um, that's weird that you do when you're um, on your own. And you're not gonna go into like a really heavy like three-man team with, if you're only in two, you're gonna run into mostly other twos. Let's see if I can do this in a different order.
It makes this a lot easier to place. I uh, never played a looter shooter before, so I'm interested in seeing what that's all about. Yeah, so it's a loser, looter extraction shooter. So, like, you go in, you try to get your stuff, and, like, you've got missions, which is cool. So there's quests. I like the quest idea because it gives you something to do if you don't want to engage with other players. You don't have to, unless the quest tells you, like, you have to engage with other players. So it's kind of cool that way. Um, I think that... Um, they um, they give you options. So if you want to sneak around like a stealth game, you totally can. It might not work. You might end up still running into other people. But All right, let's do the no indicator here. Oh, I did it again. I hated that it would put solos up against teams was basically uh, a guaranteed loss if you ran into a team as solo. And that's the problem right now is that you really, you die so fast, even if you run into anybody that happens to get the drop on you. So uh, a, a solo versus a, t a two person team, like you, you really have to be either excellent, um, maybe snipe one person first, or it's like you, you really have to be on top of things to get by in that situation. If they both see you, you're done. Because one person is gonna get your attention and the other person is gonna flank you and you're just, you're, you're toast. Gonna change a few things over here. Casually having no idea what's happening, but enjoying it. Oh, are you new to Satisfactory, uh, Dovakin? Oops. Uh, so this is a factory building game. And we are building a very large fuel power plant. I kind of went straight into just doing my thing. I didn't really show anything at the start. But eventually I'll, I'll back up a bit and you'll be able to see what's going on. But essentially we're combining uh, crude oil that's being turned into uh, heavy oil residue with water and then like quadrupling the amount of fuel that we get out of that so it's like an alternative way to make a lot of fuel in the game and then the fuel um generators which you saw maybe at the very beginning 
uh, are there to burn the fuel and create power that we can run other factories. So we're basically making a power plant. If you've ever watched any kind of building games that require you to kind of like manage your resources in that way. If you do bang satisfactory in chat, you'll get a link to the game website. And I am going through and making things look really pretty because that's kind of what I do. <laughs> you don't need to do any of this special placement stuff. You can basically run everything in a straight line and it'll function exactly the same. I don't, it wasn't supposed to be up there, but it's kind of funny. It almost looks good, but I prefer the, the way that we've got it planned out. Oh, is that not going to let me do the thing now? That's how we did it over here, right? Um, a lot easier to understand than we, in my head than um, zooming with. It's like hoppers and stairs in Minecraft and slabs. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep. A little bit worried about the voice chat. I'm not a big fan of actually talking to strangers, but uh, a chat is fine. Yeah. So the voice chat thing, you can try. You don't have to. You don't have to talk to anybody. If you know, if you just want to be silent, there is an in-game emote system. So, like similar to this, you know, like the hearts or wave, you can do that in game, and your character will have like an in-game voice, like "hello" or "friendly" or like you. You don't have to. You don't have to use push to talk. You can do it a different way. Um, but I mean, it's a it's a coin flip as to whether the person you're talking to is either going to spare you or engage with you. Not to say that you couldn't win. I just, you know, usually if you're saying, hey, I don't want to fight, you're not ready to fight. All right, which do we like better? Left with the indicators mid pipe or right with no indicators in the pipe? I think I like the left. And yeah, I often describe Satisfactory to Minecraft players like Redstone on steroids with modern graphics. Oh, thanks, Sonic. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I I had a guy or girl was playing around, and I totally had the drop on them. I heard them coming. I knew we were going to run into each other. I, I heard them coming around the bend, and I kind of jumped on my mic, and I said, Hey, friendly, just FYI. Uh, and, like, to let them know, by the way, could have shot you. Could have shot you dead in the face. Um, and they just kind of stopped for a second and then blew me away. And it was just like, well, fine. Awesome. Good to know that you're that kind of person. You know, and there is a there's a reporting system, so if you're worried about if you're worried about um, people being abusive or anything like that, there is a, a, a after you leave a round, you can look to see who killed you or who you interacted with. It gives you proximity, who you chatted with, and then who you who you fought with, and and you can report them if they were cheating or if they were being you know offensive or whatever. But like people are going to swear. And, and but not necessarily at you just like in common language you know like people use the F word like um and uh and you know <laughs> when they can't find a better word to put in they'll just use use that 
um, it's a bit of a stereotype, but there's a lot of a lot of uh, dude bros <laughs> playing playing cycle. Not that there aren't women playing it and and playing it very well, but the the people that I've run into have, and talked to have all been men, and and very like, I'm above you, bro. <laughs> like it's it's very it's like wow, I knew this was gonna happen, but I you know, it's pretty straightforward. Pretty pretty unsurprising. Uh, I think I like this. I think I like the busier look. Excessive swearing thanks to high school. Yep. Yeah, it'll be no different than that, right? Like, that's kind of basically what you're looking at. So I will clean this up later. Uh, right now, I just want to get all of these looking the same. And I like... I like this look, so we're going to go ahead and delete these. We're just going to go with the one merger. And it looks like it's probably on... I would say that's about halfway. It looks like it sticks out by a bit too. Oh, it's going to give us a look. Oh, do we want... The outputs are blue. Maybe you want to spin these around. Oh, wait a minute. I guess... No, I like the other way around. Oh, it's rock spot. I don't know about those side pieces. I might leave them in. You don't necessarily have to have the volume on, so you could just do that if you want uh, if you want to hear them. Yes, that's true. You can turn chat volume all the way down. I feel like the problem there is a lot of people are using it to indicate that they're friendly to you and so if you don't have the volume on then you could end up shooting somebody that was trying to be trying to be nice right so so i feel like that would be one one reason why i would not have the volume on you could turn it really down like really really down low but obviously your call Joseph X, hello, welcome in. Thanks for coming by the stream. Yeah, the reporting is mostly for cheaters, I think, but you could you could report someone if they were being really bad. The problem is like I don't feel like I, I can report someone for being insert swear word here. Like, you know, for for being a monkey butt, you know? Like, for saying they're friendly and then shooting you anyway. Like, that kind of a thing. You, that's that's just part of the game. So, like, you have to understand that that might be your experience and that you have to accept. <laughs> have to accept that you've chosen to play a game like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. It looks tidy. Coming in from the Spawn Chunks podcast. You got me to buy Satisfactory. Now I'm stuck playing it. <laughs> That and making people hungry. I, I have that effect on people. Joseph. Welcome in. How are you enjoying Satisfactory so far? It's 
Now we just have to do this up here. Just like in real life, you don't trust everyone. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's like if you run into somebody that's friendly, that's great. Don't shoot them. But don't turn your back on them either. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like that's kind of a the state of the game. That's kind of what you have to do. So I haven't decided if I want to stream it or not. I uh, I am having fun with it overall. There's definitely some frustrating moments, but I, I am enjoying it. I keep on playing, so obviously I'm not, you know. But I'm not engaging with other players in PvP a lot. This is mostly a lot of sneaking around. I don't know how exciting that would be to watch. This is a stream. And when I do start to lose uh, consistently, I do I can feel myself getting quite frustrated. So I, I'm a little concerned about whether that would come through on stream as like, eh, Joel doesn't really seem like he's having fun. I'm not sure why he's playing this game. You know? Uh, how do you cheer? You mean in Twitch? There should be a little bit icon right next to your chat window or right at the right hand side right next to the emote I forgot to pack my lunch on Monday so the pre-show about Canadian Thanksgiving was a bit rough for me oh <laughs> yeah guilty as charged Johnny cooked a big meal for his family too so or, I mean, I didn't cook a big meal. I ate a big meal, though. Oh, the arrowhead type thing. Yep. Looks like a diamond or something. Uh, I have friends say I would love Satisfactory and I believe them. I just have to finish uh, Autonauts and Valheim to clear up the game time. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, is it Autonauts? I've never heard of Autonauts. I've heard of Valheim. And I don't play Val Valheim because I feel like I get that gameplay loop from Minecraft. Oh, that's bad. These might be just safer to delete one at a time. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh, Dova. Most appreciate it. 
The art style in Cycle is amazing. I think the art style on the weapons and on the creatures in the world is amazing. I think the players are really lackluster. The one thing I wish that these games would do is introduce different races. I find that these these arena extraction shooters, it's just all people. They all look generic. Everybody's skinny or sort of athletic. Like, I really wish that there would be more things like World of Warcraft level, like great big guy versus tiny, you know, dwarf girl versus demon type person. Like, I think you could do a lot with a looter shooter in variety and, and just interesting ideas, you know? At the advantage of having like a gnome type character would be like you could sneak around and no one would be able to see you. Um, I guess they have to be similar in size, otherwise everybody's just going to be playing the smallest target. So I like I get that, you know. But maybe the idea is that if you're really tiny, maybe you're also really slow. You know, there are ways to do it. I think. But even if everybody is like the same humanoid kind of looking, you could still do stuff like in Star Trek, you know, like give Klingon heads or pointy ears or like that kind of thing. The skins I don't find really change that much. And the default skins that they give you options for um, are unexciting to say the least. I mean, I guess the idea there is that they want to force you to spend your, your in-game currency on, on skins. The game you're talking about is it's not an RP game, no, it's it's in a it's a extraction looter shooter called The Cycle Frontier. It's free to play, it's on um, it's on Steam and Epic Games actually. Um uh, more like Escape from Tarkov. I would say it's like Escape from Tarkov meets Borderlands would be my my assessment. So the easiest way to do this is probably going to go up one at a time. I don't know why I, ever, I didn't think about this before. Previously I was building this with signs and it took forever. Oh, that's why I didn't do it that way. Still faster this way. I have a question. Should I say, say or should I go to try and catch up with the spawn chunks? I don't understand what you mean. Stay or go? I mean, hang out with the stream? I mean, this is live. You can always watch the VOD later, but the spawn chunks is not live. Boat spurt my first drop. Good luck, Sonic. Watch your back. Do not rush into things. Take your time. And, and listen, stop and listen would be my, my big advice for the cycle. Uh, and don't run everywhere, walk. Uh, if you run, you are very loud. This is what I've learned. So, so only run if you really have to. Especially if you're doing like missions and collecting quests and stuff.
I don't know how much of this you could recreate in Minecraft. The lighting, not, not something you can do. Signs, not something you can do. Um, the like the water structure alone. I mean, you can do an approximation, but I don't think you're going to be able to recreate satisfactory in Minecraft. I don't know why you would want to. Especially when you could just play Satisfactory. <laughs> Joseph? Nope. No, it's not modded Minecraft. It's also not the first time I've heard that joke. <laughs> I wish these things would, would zoop. I wish I could build like five or six of these in a row. Save me this tedium. I mean, the end result looks cool. finish the tiers yet? You have to be more specific. The floors to this power factory? I mean, we're talking about three different games, so like I need to know what you're what you mean. Context is always key. Oh, the tiers in the game. Uh, no. We are on tier 7, I believe. I basically stopped after I could get... I have the ability to begin to build nuclear stuff, but I... I have not gone beyond that. Man, this is going to take forever. Uh, yeah, so we, um, we're about mid-game, I would say, as far as our construction is concerned. We've unlocked a lot of things just because of the amount of time that we've put in game and the amount of materials we were able to build up and then send to the space elevator. So we're farther ahead in terms of our tier unlocks than we are actually having a sustainable infrastructure, which is why we're building a giant 400 fuel generator power plant so that I can do this once and basically unlock everything I need to do power-wise for the foreseeable future until I reach a point where I have to build nuclear for the components, then I, I don't want to have to do that. So um, it's also a fun art project. Like it's a cool, it's a, a cool transformer type inspired build. You'll see it here in just a few minutes. I'm going to jump on the brake train at the top of the hour. Yeah, we have the Mega Factory with um, Devastator uh, based on, oops, based on the, uh, of course, the big, the big Devastator Transformer, right? Um, but 
we were trying to do so much in there that we ran out of space power wise uh, but now with all of this running we're doing quite well It's a lot of work, but it does look cool. Oh, I'm out of science. These take plates and quartz. Can't wait to unlock more stuff. You just finished tier one. Nice, yeah. It's it's fun. It's fun to progress. Enjoy it. Like don't don't rush through it. Especially with the tutorial. The the ADA um, the Ada tutorial is great. She's very funny. Plate are here. I need regular plates. And quartz. Where did I keep the quartz? We may have to go on a road trip for quartz. Yeah, it looks like we have to go get some quartz. That's fine. It's a good time to be in a train. And with a couple new people here, it's actually good to kind of show off the uh, the main base. Yep, looks like... Okay. So we'll take the train to go get some quartz. Just died to a rattler. Yeah. That kind of stuff is frustrating, Sonic. Um... You really have to... You've got very few hit points. You basically have five hit points in in early game. Uh, before you jump back in, check your gear. Um, whatever. If you do get successful, make sure that you repair your gear. And um, if you look at the animals, they all have kind of like brightly colored spots on them. Usually that's where you shoot them. Uh, yeah, Dovakin, um, the channel points, the citizen points, they just build up over watch time. And then you can use them to, like, highlight a message or whatever, use an emote. Uh, Joseph, yep, there's a jet pack and there is a hover pack. I can't show you right now because I'm in a train, but the hover pack is electric. You have to be near, near a power pole. Or the jet pack runs on fuel. And you eventually you run out of fuel, but if you if you have a couple of stacks of fuel on you, it'll last you a few hours in game, depending on what you're doing. The jet pack you have to keep on tapping spacebar, but the hover pack you'll just you can just hang out in, in midair, no problem, right? Game is choppy today. I'm I'm not sure why. It's a nice break from Minecraft, Joseph. I do, uh, I do like that. Now, quartz. Yes. And I don't think I need anything else. So this is, this is Devastator. A huge factory. So, and it takes up basically all of the space here in the middle. And we've got all the way up to crystal oscillators being made over here. And then we've got a big aluminum factory over here. But this was made back in update... Um, back in update 4. So I don't have the nice parts. But this is a pretty, pretty big project. And this is what we run out of power. Um, we can't power it. 
So that's why I'm building the new power power plant. Yeah, lots of lag. It's weird. Do not like auto save. Say bye to the wife now. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? I don't remember who it is. He's a, he's a streamer and like a content creator. Um, but he, he was on TikTok and he kind of went in and he was just kind of like, Oh, honey, you know that video game that I was talking about? Yes. Well, it just came out today. So I'm not going to see you for several days. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Thought you could beat it with a knife. No, you can kill the um, striders, the little strider dudes with a knife. But the um, I really don't like how tanky the rattlers are. I think they're too much. I think they should be about 30% easier, to be honest. I'm going to turn on self-driving and I'm going to take my first break. Uh, for those that are new to the channel, I take a break once an hour. You get to ride the brake train in Satisfactory. And I get to go refresh my drink and grab a snack. And we'll be back in about five or six minutes. And by the way, going this way, you're going to see the size of the power plant. Once we go through the stone arch, you'll see the, the size of the power plant that we're working on. Pretty big. Pretty big.
Still cruising around. So you can sort of see what I was going for. Like when we come up on Devastator here, kind of like the big, sh the big blocky shape of his thighs and his legs, and the purple and the green. We get a lot of purple and green going on. Thanks, Sonic. How's the cycle going? Have you um, completed a couple of quests? The thing I like about the cycle is that the, the missions are usually short. If, you, if you're if you going straight for your evac point, you can usually get done in about 10 to 15 minutes. So all of this will eventually change. Um, I like the overall idea, but now that I've got new base building parts and stuff. I really feel like this is going to shine and become a much nicer looking factory. Just did your first successful evac. Nice. There was a nice guy who invited me on his evac ship. See? Okay, that's great. I'm glad that you had that experience, Sonic. I, I've had that too. I've had that too. One guy was on the roof of something and he kind of goes, hey, by the way, I'm above you. Scared the life out of me. I jumped out of my skin. But he was nice. <laughs> And he's like, hey, do you want to evac together? It's like, yeah, perfect. Like, I can watch your back, you can watch mine, that kind of thing. Uh, seemed like a nice dude. Um, but that's cool. I'm glad that you met somebody nice. I will warn you, they are not all like that. <laughs> they are not all nice, nice folks. If it catches on inside my community, I'd be happy to set up a chat room uh, where people can look for a team. Uh, in the Discord. So if you're enjoying it, chime in in the Discord. Uh, and um, if I continue to play, then maybe I'll set up a, a spot where people within the community can, can team up. That way you're not teaming up with a stranger. Like you could team up with someone from my Discord, which you may or might not know, but you get a pretty good shot that they're going to be a nice person, you know? Can't say there's a lot of people in the Discord that I, um, I would anticipate being a, 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 a bad egg, you know? Like, I think everybody's pretty, pretty solid. Cool. Well, keep me posted if you continue to enjoy it. Or if you end up getting too frustrated, then I think that that would also be a good indication to maybe try and have a team, a team channel. I could have a looking for team or looking for a group uh, channel for anything, really. Minecraft. Just about anything that's going on. So we're just going to pop right back down and continue where we left off. So this is the hover pack. You can see how I'm kind of tapping the space bar to kind of like float down gently. Uh, and then there are power lines in the walls here. And that's why I'm able to switch to the hover pack. And then this. You can see it being charged. Little lightning bolts come up and zap me. It charges up. And then a space bar to ascend, shift button to descend, and you just kind of hover around. Trexoman, thanks. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. We are just, um, we're, we're doing the completionist want to finish the water and never, never have to worry about it. Um, now that we've made the right design decisions, we're just kind of like, 100%ing at least this right hand side or left hand side. It's a little tedious, but it's looking good. Glad you like it. We're also talking about the cycle frontier for anybody that's just coming in. I've been playing it a fair bit. It's the first time I've been playing. I've played a competitive shooter in years. I think the last time I played was like Call of Duty United Offensive. Like we're talking 15 years ago. I've played shooters, just not competitively. No PvP. I wish Borderlands had more customization and armor and stuff. I feel like Borderlands would be a fun world. The cycle definitely feels very Borderlands-like in terms of the monsters and the, the world, right? The alien planet.
<laughs> the final frontier depends on how good you are. <laughs> it could very much be the final frontier for a lot of players. So I don't like the sound of these things spinning up and shutting down behind me. I feel like that's a problem. I think I goofed somewhere. We don't have the full top floors all done, so it could just be a bottleneck up top. Can I see through here? Yes. Okay, so that's the correct one. That's correct. Should be good, as long as these things are flowing at 600. Yep. Okay. So that's in the right spot. Those are in the right spots. Everything else is good. Uh, oh, we gotta do the, the merger thing. Cycle Frontier, I only just heard about it the other day. I don't even remember how I heard about it. Oh, you know, that's a lie. Uh, I was watching Con Carnage play. Uh, and they had a couple of the developers on their stream. And that was a week, like a week ago. So I've only just started playing myself. Like I said, I've got under 10 hours in the game. So now we got ceiling lights and figuring out how to do the wiring for those is going to be a real pain in the butt. Looks about right. I think I tried the other way around and it didn't go very well. I think we just leave them normal, then they don't um, they don't show up. Yeah, the top part. Yeah, okay. So take that out. We're gonna have to find a way to hide these somehow. I'm glad these don't take quartz anymore. They used to. Do I plan on streaming it, uh, the Cycle Frontier? That is a very interesting question. I am not sure. Uh, I need to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Something about the competitiveness of it and how good streamers normally are at it. I feel like I want to at least have a better handle on things. Um, although, I mean, there's something to be said for streaming the process of learning the game too. Um, I'm concerned a little bit because I do run family friendly most of the time. 
Um, it's not a huge deal. Like, I swear all the time on the Citadel Cafe, including the new episode that just came out today. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, shameless plug, uh, thecitadelcafe.com for episode 452, talking about Rings of Power 4, 5, and 6. Um, and then Johnny and I are going to be talking next week about the finale, so that should be good. Um, but yeah, I, so I mean, I swear on the Citadel Cafe, it's not like people have never heard me make content where there's adult language in it, so... Um, I just think that it's it's hard because there is VoIP, there is other people in it. It's also, I mean, like, I've streamed Borderlands before, so, like, it's not like it's outside of what I could stream. I know a pretty big group into Hunt. Uh, thought about that one. I've never heard of that one, Trexoman. Is that very similar? It sounds like it might be. I remember it popping up in my stream queue a few months ago, but I never considered playing it until I mentioned it on the render distance. Oh, okay, so it was the render distance that had you turned onto it, wasn't Sonic? Yeah. I mean, again, like, it's it's a cool game. It's I think it's just one of those things that if it's for you, then it's very good. If it's not for you, you're probably not going to have a good time. Do you know what I mean? If, if, if the kind of game that the Cycle Frontier is, is not something you often enjoy, it's very much what it says on the tin. Uh, Hunt is also PvPVE. Oh, okay, cool. The The interesting thing I find about my experience with the Cycle Frontier is the choice that you have to make to, like, not engage with the environment. If you know there's a lot of players around, you maybe don't want to make a lot of noise by shooting mobs. And I always feel like, because I've got low-end weapons, because I'm taking so long to kill mobs, that it tips other players off to say, oh, this guy's weak. He's got a, a, a entry-level gun, so, like, let's go get him, you know? I feel like that's kind of where I am. So how are we going to hide the wiring? Do I have any room up here? I probably don't. Oh, I do. At least a little bit. But not much. And then once we get out here, I don't have any. Well, we could maybe find a way to hide most of it. Plus, we're going to be putting a foot on this. You know, I think it's possible. We could maybe do the wiring up here. Alright, so where would I put these? I guess in the middle. Oh, here it's going to be a pole. That's annoying. I think we'll have to do a, a beam. could do it on the side, I guess. Hmm. Let's just do it on the side and then I'll work out. I want to do it later. That's going to hide it, yeah? Yeah. I can always build up the roof to hide the things. Have a good rest of the stream, Joel. I have to go to work. Joseph X, thanks very much for the 100 bits. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, does Satisfactory have chunk loading, or is the whole thing loaded all the time? Uh, it's, render, it's definitely a render distance loading thing, um, and you can choose what that is. Uh, and even then, 
the the moving parts like you, you see all these animated like pipes and things like that and things on belts they only load in when you get close um they run so think about it like redstone in your spawn chunks right like you can't see it visually but it's still running satisfactory does the same thing the whole world is running but uh you can only see the stuff that's within your visual distance uh you can also see like um if i zoom in somewhere for example see the trees over there like they won't change they're just like flat planes right uh, they change as I get closer physically, right? Because trees over here look a lot different. And you can see, like, the rock faces look really low res, right? Because they're far away. They're up high compared to other rocks that I'm a lot closer to. So, like, if you look at, like, the textures on these rocks close to me versus these rocks that are farther away, right? So the game just does that, uh, and you have to because as the game as your playthrough gets larger, uh, it becomes a lot more difficult to. Um, I wouldn't say to play, but it's just it's basically just like a lot more difficult on your system. Resource heavy is the word I'm looking for. All I'm doing here is taking my original plan for the lighting and then tidying up and, and moving the cables into ceiling. It's kind of like hiding redstone in Minecraft. And then in here, thankfully, I think I have the, the room that I can house the, um, the thing that changes the color. This thing. And we can do that in the middle which is going to be here. I don't know how tall these are. Oh good, they fit. Excellent. Put it there for now. And then we'll go from here. And then it has to come in somewhere. And all of the power has been coming down through the backs of things, so we'll probably choose this one here. It should have power coming down somewhere. There it is there. So we can choose power in here.
And for fun and easy access, I'd say might as well put in a staircase, right? Why not? Eh, doesn't look all that good. Never mind. Um, I'll leave that gap because I'm sure we're going to have to pop in and out. Uh, this is going to be blue because we want it to be controlling the blue lights. And then we just change it to blue. And they are now blue again. Cool. So that means that this isn't needed and all of this can go. And same thing, we can run these going the other directions as well. Yeah, so you can clip all kinds of stuff. Uh, I, I think you're gone, Joseph. But yeah, if you end up watching the VOD later, you can clip things through all kinds of stuff here, which is great. So to keep this tidy, I'm going to run a main power line down the middle. And we're going to attach nodes on the back of this. So, for example, we're going to put one here. So let's just push this down. far as that goes and then from here we can come to that's one tick out into the thing and then we can connect this way The only thing I didn't really plan out very well was that the room above the roof in this particular area is not the best. I do wish that the game had a more modern looking, more sci-fi looking power solution. I do find that these are a little bit on the weird looking side. Now because those are newly hooked up, oh no they're blue, okay good. I thought they were going to be white. Sometimes when you hook up new lights, they don't come out the right color. Alright, so that's good, which means we can put this back. Uh, the Yeah, I definitely have a bit of a maze. It's getting tidier as we go, like as we build more stuff. Uh, some of it is is temporary, and then other things. As I'm finalizing it, the the back end gets tidier. So like now that I know like where everything's happening for these pipes, like this becomes uh, much better. This is not hooked up. That's weird. I wonder what happened there. Huh. Okay. Let's. Uh I must have forgot it, or maybe it was like a save or something that didn't happen. So the purple is on the left, blue is on the right. That's why they're all color-coded, by the way. Yeah, this should really be hooked up. Actually, let's do this.
This might have been the first one that I did, or one of the first ones that I did. This isn't hooked up either. Weird. I'm not sure how I missed that. All right. Well, it's done now. <clears throat> how did it take me this long to notice that the cycle lobby is a space station? Oh, right. It's very cool. If you look up, it's it's awesome. I think you can see it when you're on the planet too. If you look up, Sonic. How are you doing? Are you doing are you doing the quests for the factions? That's where I would suggest you start out because you get some good drops. You can also watch some Twitch streamers. Um, again, it depends on your language tolerance, but um, I can share some recommendations. Um, Scarlet is one. Mister, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember his name. Again, they use some language. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's just, let me grab this link. Does Fluxo play the cycle? Compound cheats. I don't know what the heck those are. So, um, you'll come to recognize stuff. You have to just loot places. And once you start looting places, uh, you'll realize, um, what they are. Also, if you hover over the the item in your inventory, it should tell you where to find it on the map. It'll give you a hint like, this mineral is found near waterfalls. Um, copy link here. So that's Scarlet, again, adult language warning. And this is Mr. More Pork. Uh, More Pork is funny. Uh, sometimes his wife is playing, but um, but Mr. More Pork is a voice actor. I believe from New Zealand, who's playing the Cycle Frontier, and v very, very funny. Uh, and they both should have partner drops on. So if you want to watch in the background, it's hard to watch streamers and play because you have to listen so intensely when you're playing in the Cycle Frontier. Um, but those those two those two streamers have drops turned on, so you can get some free gear while you kind of listen, like watch them in the background. So that's always cool. That's always cool. All right, let's go down here and we need to get this going. Oh, you're talking about satisfactory players. Yeah, the satisfactory streamers, I do have a number of those. Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, they are in this button, and there's the link to the satisfactory creators in chat there. Oh, did that work? That's weird. It's not. It says it's working here, but it's not working in chat. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of delay. 
Yeah, so there's a spreadsheet to some satisfactory creators I quite like. I believe Fluxo is in that is in that list for sure. If he's not, I need to, I need to add him. So everything down from um, this particular um, colored control system will be blue. So we don't have to reset any of these lights. They're just all going to be blue. Careless double zero, what's going on, Careless? I'm not sure why I always add the numbers at the end of people's names the first time I read them out. <laughs> Even when they've been returning to the chat for months, I'm still like, that for initial read is just like, there are numbers, must address the numbers. Good to see you, Careless. Hope you're having a good day. Um, Gaspap, thank you, appreciate that. Appreciate the feedback. Is there anybody missing gas cap or gas pap that you that you think would be good in the satisfactory content creator list? For folks wondering that that spreadsheet is just a list of people that I I think are worth following. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of them are family friendly. If they are not, they're usually indicated on the sheet that they're not. Not that I care that much. It's more like when my viewers have small humans sitting on their lap. It's kind of good to know what they're watching won't be too adult language, you know. Uh, Yuri Makis and Molly Berry. Cool. I will take a look. I'm familiar with Yuri Makis. Uh, oh, so those ones did get... See, see, we added all these lights, but now these are white. And all we have to do... This is like a, a little glitch in the game. All we have to do is go over to our, our light control center. I can't remember what these are called. The light control panel is just... Flick it. And it... They go blue. Ooh, it's nighttime too. So this is what our water facility is going to look like. Pretty fun. I might change the color on those lights to be a little bit more blue. Like they're kind of a pale blue. I might make them a little bit darker. I might try to make them match the lights a little bit. Or maybe we do the opposite. Maybe we make the lights a little bit lighter. But it's looking pretty cool. So I don't know if I'm going to bother to put lights in the back here. I don't know if I need to. Because you're not really going to notice them, I don't think. Thanks, Careless. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Sonic. So I guess we could put them there. It would make sense to have them there. This is going to be up against the wall, I think. I don't know if there's going to be a path down behind it. I'm going to make an exit here as well. So there's going to be a big door here. You can kind of see where I've planned out like a big double door. But I don't know if we're going to actually get to have much space back here. So I'm going to hold off on the signs for now. 
on the back. Uh, and then as far as the pipes go, I think that's all good. Oh, right, right. I wanted to put signs down there. I'll get rid of that for now. That seems like a lot of work. It does need something, I think, along here, but I'm not sure quite yet what that is. We could also run like a a conveyor belt if I really wanted to. Be kind of fun too. Um so the other thing I want to tidy up is this part here. I want these all to kind of come in at the same spot, so I feel like I need to remove these guys. And then put pipes you know, like there and there. Not as clean, is it? That's disappointing. Hmm. Maybe we should go angle. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, do I want to keep that? Yes. So I want these to stay in the middle there. We could maybe just get rid of these middle bits. Yeah. That's tidier. And then here, do the same thing. Causing all kinds of hiccups in my power system by deleting these pipes. Just to line this up and make it look nice. Now here, I wanted to try and have this be in the middle here, but I don't know if I can do that. I think I'd have to have this up like here at the front because this is right on the edge. So one, two, three. Yeah, I'd have to have these up here, which I guess we could do temporarily. So those all line up nice, and I'll move this again. Kind of reminds me of a film room. Um, I don't think that's what they're called, but the room's what they have. Red oh yeah, dark room. Yeah, dark room for film development. Yep. If it was a red light, then yes. Yeah, it would totally be a, very much like a dark room. That looks pretty good. I'd like to try and highlight that somehow. I wonder if I could somehow swing a light in the ceiling right above it. Unfortunately, the only lights that we have are ginormous. 
Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? Well, maybe. Just hook it up quick to see. That's a much bigger highlight than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it works. It's a little distracting. And it's too close to that. Maybe we could move it to the right by a foundation. Because there's nothing else that I can hook up there that's going to be small enough, I don't think. All the lights in this game are ginormous. I mean, we could hide it a little bit somehow. There we go. Doesn't quite hit the edge here. I think that could be cool. So maybe we'll hook a few of those up. And then I wonder if there's a way that we could sort of hide them. Like not have the whole light show. We could put something down here in the middle. Similar to what we've got over here. Oh, that kind of, that blocks the light, doesn't it? Totally, yeah. All right. Never mind. I'll leave that there for now, just in case we come back to the idea. Fluid pipes. I got super frustrated trying to get fluids to work with my coal plants. I think me uh, it took me much longer than I thought it would. I'm enjoying the game so much. Yeah, the thing with fluid right now, it's kind of bugged. Like, you need to make loops. You need to make closed loop systems. Uh, I don't remember where I saw the tutorial, but there's a bunch of really good tutorials. Look for tutorials on fluids on YouTube, but make sure they're within the last six months. Uh, Dovakin, thanks very much for being here. Take care. Hope to see you again soon. I think you left a follow. Yes, you did. Thanks ever so much. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that there for now. And I think that takes care of all of the essentials. I don't know why these guys are not jamming, though. Where does this go? So this feeds these two pipes. Two pipes on the right. Maybe this just isn't getting fed into machines. No, we just did that room. That room should have... Room should be going. I'm 
Unless these machines are not on, or they're full. Oh, there's no output for this, I don't think. No, they're clogged. Okay. I don't think we're consuming the fuel on this side yet. That's what's going on there. That's fine. I just want to make sure what water is needed is is being pumped around. Cool. Well, I'm glad that we got a good chunk of that done. That was bugging me. So now we have a completed, decorated one single side to all of this. And um, we'll have to run through and check logistics later and figure out what... There's no sense in like getting troubled too much over water that's not going at the right speed. Uh, because, um, well, that is weird. Um, because we don't have all the oil coming in yet. So until we finish all of that stuff, um, then I think that, uh, it's best to, um, to save that for later, for last, like the troubleshooting. I do like those. Those lights, those are fun. The signs behind the thing, I like the pattern. It's like, it reminds me of the horizontal pipes on the ground. And it really kind of plays off. Uh, also, like, the spokes on the water extractors are, it kind of, like, looks like a, looks like it could move. I like that it adds motion. Uh, Jordan, thank you very much. Yeah, I quite like it too. I don't know what we're going to do out the front here. I have no idea what the design of this window is going to be like. I There's not a lot of windows in the Cybertronian designs that I've been kind of emulating. So we've got enough room to have a nice thick double wall. Uh, we probably want to line things up to have these supports kind of echoed. So like we could do something very similar to this. You know, like I could just kind of bring this stuff over. Oh, that was facing the wrong way. So we could have like the edge of the, the building have like this kind of a pattern to it. I'm not sure if I really like that. Right, just to kind of echo the shapes that are happening inside. Um, I don't know about this part. Maybe the round part. You know, I could maybe see this having a round part to it. Right? Like, I could see something like that happening. That's actually not bad. That's very simple. I don't mind that at all. Let's try it.
Actually, I guess that could have stayed right where it was. up a different way. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll stick with this for the frame and then we'll switch back on the outside maybe. Save lag. It was about the most terrifying drop I've done yet. I saw a guy shooting at the pickup spot, so I took a long way around and crouched the whole time. Yep. You know, it. if you've got stuff on you that's taken a long time to get and you don't want to lose it, you don't have to repeat the mission, um, then yeah. Like, I've, I have definitely gotten out by the skin of my teeth I, I one guy tried to so there's folks will camp the extraction sites and sometimes you run into people that are just there to shoot players trying to escape it's it's unfortunate um but part of the game and um so one of the things that you can do is just before you jump onto your evac ship you can use a smoke grenade and that way they can't really see where you are um, also, don't run out and wait in the middle of the open. Like, basically, call your ship. And you can call the evac ship from a very long distance away. Uh, longer than I was anticipating. Uh, and then, when you have that sorted, uh, you can... Um, um, like, you can, you can sneak around. You can loot stuff. Although, looting stuff makes noise, of course. Um, but I find that when, by doing that you only run out to the evac at the last second, like only when you absolutely have to. Yeah, I mean, for now, they're not bad. For now, they're not bad. I think we can pull these in and duplicate them on both sides. I like having really deep walls. I find it very cool. Wait, are these three thick? Oh, I only want them to be two.
Been hiding in a bush until the evac ship reaches me. Bushes make noise. FYI, Sonic. Even if you're in them, I think, and not moving, they, they do they do make some noise. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. It's simple. We'll have to do a little bit more with the inside, but I like the simplicity of that. Um, usually, I what I like to hide, I like to hide in places where I can have my back up against a rock so I know that there's nothing coming behind me. Yeah, I quite like those. I think that's that's a decent solution to the end of that. Very simple. I need to start thinking in more boulder shapes. I feel like I get a little bit overcomplicated sometimes. So up there, it looks like that's concrete. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is we'll change that. I think that's right. Yeah, it looks to be. So we can do whatever we want here. It's a it's a nice double thick wall, so we could just continue this on. Whatever we think we want to do. Probably just do this on this side. Until I come up with another reason to have to have a window there, then I think we can just do that. And then we'll just change it to the shiny coated stuff on the inside. Cool thing is we don't have to have it come up like this. Like we could have this be much lower if we wanted it to be. But for now, I think we'll leave it. Because I might want to put another walkway, like similar to this walkway here. I think I might want to put another walkway along the edge. At which point, having it this high would make sense. Because we'll have to have a ramp to get, to get down and up on the other side. So I think this is the longest I've ever played on this save without showing off the giant top to the facility. Um, so we're going to take a look now. So that's where we were working down there in the water part of the facility. And we've got the oil and crude oil coming in over there for heavy oil residue. And then everything is being jammed up into these wings. Wings upon wings upon wings of... Uh, power generators, uh, fuel generators. So, oh, an accidental hypertube. Would not be a satisfactory stream without an accidental hypertube. Uh, so that's where I'm going to wrap it up because I need to go eat dinner. Uh, however, I can pass you on to somebody else. There are people playing Cycle Frontier. There are people playing Satisfactory. I'll let you choose chat. So jam in chat if you'd like to see more Satisfactory or if you'd like to see more um, more uh, of the Cycle Frontier. So totally up to you. Uh, we can, of course, point you towards The Citadel Cafe, which is a brand new episode out with myself and Stephen ESC. Stephen is going to be streaming momentarily, too. Stephen uh, streams on Thursday nights. So uh, I'll give a, a quick shout out to, uh, to Stephen. So uh, you can check that out if you're looking for Minecraft content tonight. Uh, you can listen to Stephen and I talk about the Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power mid-season chat uh, on The Citadel Cafe this past week. That is, of course, at thecitadelcafe.com. And you can listen to um, the Spawn Chunks podcast, which is all about Minecraft. And we talked about the three mobs that are coming up for a mob vote. And speaking of the mob vote, that is this Saturday. Voting opens tomorrow. Uh, and Johnny and I will be covering Minecraft Live at 12 p.m. Eastern Time 
on Saturday, and that will be on twitch.tv slash pixelriffs, Johnny's Twitch channel. We're going to be covering it live there. So I won't be live here. I'm going to host the, the call, but uh, or host the stream, but uh, I will be live over on Johnny's chat. So I encourage everybody to go over and check that out there. Uh, you can, of course, follow me on social media with Joel Duggan. I am everywhere that you need to find me. Uh, Instagram is mostly food and a little bit of podcasts, but Twitter is usually where I announce things like uh, streams and, and whatnot. So that is going to be it for me. I hope you have a fantastic evening. I'm going to be back tomorrow with Lego, and I'll be posting in the Discord a vote for which Lego set we are going to complete. Sonic, thanks again for being here. Appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying the Cycle Frontier. Uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>